Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some Masters of the Universe He-Man and three random figures. First on the list, we have a Power Rangers Mystic Force, Red Ranger, a Disney's Gargoyle action figure, a Rescue Hero action figure, Trap Jaw from He-Man, He-Man, Man in Arms, and Many Faces. But we will get on to this video and look at each figure's articulation and then get on to the review. And now it's time to get on to the review. First and foremost, we're going to look at our Power Rangers Mystic Force. Red Ranger. Bend at the knee. Doesn't kick back very far. Bends at the knee. Elbows. Pretty good. Head can look that way. There's no ball joint. He can sit down if you want him in a sit-down pose. Why not? It's an option you can do. I don't have any of his weapons. It looks like he might have had some sort of gimmick back here. But it looks like it broke off. But he'll make a nice figure to add to my Power Rangers vintage collection. From my childhood. Next on the list, we have ourselves a Rescue Heroes figure. I don't know all the Rescue Heroes, and I don't know who this guy is. I know three out of out of them. Billy Blaze, Rocky Canyon, and the other Wendy from that show. But other than that, I don't know a lot about these. This Rescue Heroes little Match X vehicle rolls. Very good. Get some rolling action out of it. Articulation ain't very much. So, yeah. Definitely going to go on my Rescue Hero shelf. Next on the list, we got a Disney's Gargoyle. Articulation. Arms can move. Pretty good. No bends at the elbows. Legs can do some movement. But, yeah, this is going on my monster shelf for sure. With all my monster action figures. He does not have the wings. It's a shame. He looks like he had something that went there, but it looks like it broke off. It might have been his tail. But otherwise, he's 100% complete. Well, 95% complete. No broken arms or legs or head. I love this figure. Next, we'll get some He-Man action figures. First, we got He-Man himself. Why the power of Grayskull? I have the power. And I couldn't help the impression for He-Man. And yeah, I have my first He-Man in my collection. Very nice. I will review that. Next on the list, we got many faces. He's got pistols. He can go pew, pew, bang, bang. And he can switch faces. He's like, take this, Skeletor. Pew, pew, pew. And you use this to rotate his face around. And then he's got the monster face. Rawr. Take this, pew, pew. Take this, pew, pew. And yeah, he's got the face gimmick and everything. I am definitely adding him to my master selection. So we are going to get down to comparisons with these. Next on the list, we got Man at Arms. Eat club, Beast Man. Ah! He could smack you on the head with the club. He could shoot you, go pew, pew. Bend at the. No bends at the knees, but it can move back that far. That's pretty good. Get him some running poses. Not bad. Head is on a ball joint. Really tight one, but he moves. 
But now we're going to look at some other figures for comparisons. Some more Master Universe comparisons. Here we got these loyal subject subjects Master Universe figures next to some little display figures. We got Stratos. And we got Beast Man. Not bad for smalls. Say so, so myself. And next we're going to look at the Netflix Masters of the Universe new series He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Trap Jaw and the gimmick he has why not but before we look at take the figure out of the box we're going to look at the back of the box Got a nice product shot of Trap Jaw on his battle vehicle and with his gimmick his claw crusher, that's what I'm going to call it. And yeah, not bad. And now we're going to take the figure out of the box and it shows how to install the claw. So now here we got Trap Jaw on his vehicle. Wondering, does this vehicle roll? Yeah, it does. Very well. But now we're done looking at the vehicle itself. Let's get Trapjaw out and look at bad old Trapjaw. Okay. His claw does this movement because that's the gimmick. I can get the gimmick to work. He does this and whacks you with the claw. No bends at the knees, no bend at the elbows. Hands can move, hand can move, head can move, which is pretty nice. But now for comparison with Trap Jaw. If I can get him to stand, come on, Trap Jaw. Stand, stand for me. Here is Trap Jaw from Masters of the Universe Netflix He Man series. Next to an original. 1980s Skeletor, which I do own. Yeah, not bad looking if I do say so myself. And of course, with Prince Adam, He Man. I really need to get a He Man with a weapon for this shelf. But for now, he'll do what I need him for. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Do I highly recommend this if you're looking for some Masters of the Universe? If you love Masters of the Universe and are picking these up as much as I'm trying to track down more of these and pick them up, I highly recommend you do. It's a fun line to collect. These figures are awesome. And it's cool that this one came with a vehicle. And I'll definitely be looking for more Masters of the Universe. If you like this video, do me a favor. Make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. YouTube land.